come out of this world, come out of darkness into this marvelous light. This is the light, right? The Bible is the light. That's your God, God in life. If we don't follow this book, then what are we following? I guarantee them, what you heard today, you never heard it preached in a Christian church. Repentance means to change. Get Matthew 18 and 3. You got any questions? You ain't got no questions. You gotta have some questions because you saw us and you came over here. Gotta have something. I ain't gonna press you, but I know it's something that the wheels turn. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 3. Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Well, he's saying that's repentance. To convert or repent means to change. Unless you change from what you are, right? The brother was talking to you. He had your shirt up, your pants sagging. Because what? Because of what we live today. Society put that on us, right? What he's telling you? That you're a special person. Put your clothes on. He read Zephaniah 2 and uh, 1 to you, right? Put on your, uh, what, what, if you're not wearing righteous apparel, you can be killed, right? So he's telling you, come out of the ways of the world, right? Because you're special. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You're special. We don't know that we're special. We think we niggas, sticks, all kind of stuff. Get the money. So, we niggas, sticks, all, all kind of stuff, right? But what I'm showing you is that, what he started showing you is that you have to repent. You have to change. It wasn't easy for you to pull your pants. It wasn't hard for you to pull your pants up, right? It wasn't easy for you to put your arms back in the shirt, right? So, that's changing right there, right? You may, and, and what, what he's showing you is that if you don't change, we're going to die here. The world's not teaching that. You go to the Christian church. They don't teach us that. Well, yeah, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. He's telling you that you're holy people. You're set apart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee. You're chosen. We're the chosen people. These people right here on the side. From Judah all the way down to uh, Issachar, we're those chosen people, brother. That's that's what the brother's telling you, really. To be a special people unto himself. So we're special unto himself. A special people, not everybody. A set apart people, read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people on the face of the earth, brother. Hey, how you doing? We're teaching our brother who he is according to the Bible. Come on over and... Got and listen up. I understand that. I what we're it. trying to show you now is the time is now because we're in the last day. Right. Walking away, you're going to miss it. I'm almost on my last minute too. Right. Minute. We understand that. We understand yes, that. But the day is the Sabbath, right? So what we're showing you, brother, is that you have to come back to these laws that's in commandment and follow the laws of God, right? That's the only way we're going to make it out of here. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no, the white man can't say, let's try. Because he gave us this as the brother pointed out to us. That's not Christ. That's that's a wrong depiction of Christ. That's a... Uh, Pope Alexander the sixth son, Caesar Borgia. The Bible didn't describe him with uh, stringy goat hair, dog hair with blue eyes. If you look at this is a more depiction of what Christ looked like right here. Right? So back to what we were saying. Finish that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people below. Above 
all people is telling you the people on the sign is above all people. Well, right now we're in a lower state because we run against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Right? So he's calling us back. That's why when the brother brought you over, he started showing you stuff that you need to change. Right? Right? One of the things you got to do when he said we showed you the phrases, right? You got to make haste. Right? Get that for We got to make haste. When it comes to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, you got to make haste. We don't know who we are as a people. We don't know where we come from or, or any of that stuff, right? But it's right here in our book. This is our book. We're that special people, and we have a special book. Read that. Psalm chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. So oh, this is David speaking, right? He thought on his way, when we were talking to you earlier, brother, what we're telling you, you got to think on your way and change, convert, repent, and come back to these laws that the command. Because right. you are those, that, that special people, right. a set apart people. Get that in 1 Peter 2 and 9. Oh, finish that. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So he made haste. He did it quickly. He didn't say, well, let me think about it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Right? That's how we got to look at life. The moral is not promised to no one, First Peter 2 and 9. A special people, a set apart people, a royal people. That's us, bro. Hey, bro, we got a uh, website on the back of that page. A phone number call us. You'll get one of us, all right? I will. All right, stay up now. See what y'all doing, man. The book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation, right? A royal priesthood. A royalty, right? Royalty, right? What does royalty look like? They're, they're, they're dressed up, right? They got on beautiful clothes. You know who they are, right? I know. That's you, bro. Read. A holy nation. A holy nation means separate, set apart. Read. A peculiar people. A peculiar people. When people look at us, they know who we are. A lot of us are loud. We dress well, so on and so forth. And we go to the ghetto, they know who we are, right? Read. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's what the Most High is telling you. Come out of this world. Come out of darkness into this marvelous light. This is the light, right? The Bible is the light. That's your God, God in life. If we don't follow this book, then what do we follow? I guarantee them, what you heard today, you never heard it preached in a Christian church, have you? Never heard any of these scriptures, right? Told you who you were. Told you how to repent. Told you how to put, pull your pants up and put your shirt back on. Pastor say, come as you are. Where is that in the Bible? It's not there, is it? Right, why? Because what do you want from you? He want that money. Right. He tell you, you run around for an hour, and you tired, he said, all right, now, nah, dig in your pocket, dig deep. Get that, and you're going to give it to him. Did you, did you see a plate out here anywhere? We ain't here for your money we're here for your soul that's right we're here to right. feed you the word of god right about feeding you you're going to understand that it ain't about money right it's not about you it's about the word of god you understand that what you hold holding shalom israel this is bishop nathaniel i want you to know that you can view all our sabbath classes live on iuic tv that's right i said on iuic tv Download the app today. Shalom. Mata Milia is the twelve. Chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. He said he will give you pastors according to my heart. Look around. You got about seven or eight prophets out here. Pastors. We preach, we teach, we study all day, all night. Right? Read. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. We're giving you knowledge. Did you get some knowledge today? Did you understand what we were saying to you? Okay, by understanding what we're saying to you, right? So you have to start to think. First Kings, you have to start to think, right? Now you're thinking, like, man, I am special. I am different. I'm a king. You know that you're a king, right? Read that. First Kings, chapter 8, verse 
47? Yeah. Verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. What does it mean to bethink? When you see somebody go, hmm, that's bethinking, right? Read. In the land, whether they were carried captive. So he showed you how he was brought over on um, slaves here and brought over here captive. Read. And repent. And repent. You heard him talk about that earlier. And change. That means to change. Stop doing what you were doing and change. He read 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man in his Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Man, he told you to wipe the slate clean. Right? When you got a clean slate, it's, the, it's a do-over. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives. In the land of them that carried them captives. Where are we today? What is this place called? Where are we? In the United States, right? How does the United States when this land didn't even belong to them? You see what I'm saying? Where, where the land where they carried us captive, like you said, United States, America, read. Really? Saying, we have sinned and have done perversely. So that's saying, we, we're telling the Most High, hey, I messed up, I want to get it right. I'm thinking about who I actually know who I am now. You actually know who you are now, right? Hey. Is that it on that? We have committed wickedness. So we've done wrong before the Most High. That's why he put us over here, read. And so return unto thee with all their heart. So come to back them with all our mind, with our mind right. The heart ain't the thing that pumps blood in your body. Your heart is the mind. Your heart can't tell you what to do. The thing that pumps blood, it can't tell you. It's your mind that's your heart. We'll get that for you, read. And with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land. Let us be captive and say we will turn and pray, pray unto thee. What's our homeland? What's our homeland? What you were told that's our homeland? Oh, Israel. Israel? Oh, so you know. How do you know that? You read that? Yeah, I taught it. Huh? I taught it to you. Oh, we taught it to you? Today? You did? Today? Okay, earlier he told you what your homeland was, right? So you know. That's where you fight. You find the east, you get your compass, you find what the east is. And that's the direction of where we... What Jerusalem is, right? We know that's the east, right? But when you pray unto the Most High, right? You came over here today. You wasn't, when you met the brother over there, you wasn't thinking about us, right? But the Most High pulled you over here to what? To get you to change and convert. Man, we, live, we, we ain't even 10 minutes from here. Uh, 1823 Greg Street. You got the flight, right? Yeah. 1823 Greg Street, every Saturday, 3 o'clock. Come in, man. Sit down. Learn who you are. Continue and learn who you are, right? By knowing who you are, man, it makes a world of difference. When you don't know who you are, you're still going to be out there chasing tail, thinking you have to have a girlfriend for this, a girlfriend for that, doing all, doing those things of the world. Most of us said, come out, 18, Matthew, I mean, Revelation 18 and 4. He said, come out of the world. That's what we're calling you, bro, is to come out from on the, the world, right? But what we're showing you is repentance, remember convert, right? Learn these laws, that's the commandment. Why? So you can go teach the next brother. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. So you heard a voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Did he say everybody? He said, my people. So he's talking to a specific people. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So don't wallow in that stuff no more. Come out of her sins. Uh, sex before marriage, right? Drinking, doing drugs, all kind of stuff. That's what he's calling you away from, right? So if he's calling you away from that, then what's required of you? Get that. Oh, it's a more on that reader. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Oh. Her plagues is the ways, the politics. The lies, the social media, right? Is that it? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Who's oh, asking you? What's your name? Khalid. Khalid. So he's asking you, what does the Lord require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So, so you got to fear God, right? Fear God, to fear God, you got to love him. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? 
to keep the commandments of the Lord. Oh, that's what he's telling you to do, Kelly, is to keep the commandments of the Lord. By keeping the Lord, the commandments of the Lord, that's life. That's life. Right. Is that it on it? Yes, we are. Which I command thee this day for thy good. That's it. He said, which I command thee this day for thy good. What we're showing you is good. You got to know what good is. What's good? You got to know what these things. You got to ask questions. You got you go you go to church, or you been to church before? Okay, so don't go back. Learn from the prophets, the brothers. Learn from people that's gonna actually talk to you about the Bible. Not you go on Sunday, you put the Bible down for a whole week. Got dust on it now. Now you pick it up on Sunday. I ain't read a chapter, a uh, verse. Read. Romans chapter 7 verse 12 wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good so Kali what's good what is what is good the Bible that's what we just read to you read it again listen listen close listen good wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good so what's good the law is good. That's what's good. The Bible is just telling you what's good in this world ain't good to us. What's really good to us is our book. Our book. This book was written for us, to us, by us, right? Right. So we have to understand that knowing who you are is only half the battle. Keeping the commandments, that's all you have to do to get the kingdom. I ain't talking about sit back and say, oh, I'm going to wait on them to come back. I'm keeping the commandments. No. You got to put in that work. Tell the next brother, hey, bro, come go with me. I'm going to show you something. Oh, bro, what is it? I'm going to show you something. These guys taught me who I actually was. That's exhorting your brother or bringing your brother in. What you got? Read this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Hear the conclusion. Fear God and keep the commandments. What's the commandments? But what is the commandments? Look. That's the commandments. Right. They're in the Bible. Read. For this is the, for this is the whole duty of man. That's your duty, Khalid. The whole duty, your whole duty is to keep the commandments and live. Did it say keep the commandments and die? Keep the commandments and what? For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So whether it be good or whether it be evil, you still got to keep the commandments regardless, right? You can't just take the Bible, cast it behind your back. You can't do that. Why? That's showing that God that you haven't repented, but you're a repenting Israelite. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.